morning, Colonel Bai. It's Tuesday, April 9th, and it's a day one. I'm Katie. And I'm Siobhan. And, and here, here are your morning, morning announcements. CB Oscars 2024 is here. The first round of voting is now complete, and the second round ballot has been sent to your mailbox. Oscar trophies will be awarded at the annual semi-formal Oscars dance on April 26th. Are you interested in playing on the senior or junior soccer girl team this year? Join the Google Classroom using the code below to sign the permission form. There'll be tryouts at Hornet's Nest Dome on April 11th and April 16th after school, along with other tryouts at CB. There will be an interest meeting for Varsity Boys Baseball on Wednesday, April 10th at lunch in room 151. The annual night with the Sea Flats is fast approaching. It'll be on April 18th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 at the door and $5 for CB students. Be sure to come and enjoy an incredible evening. Are you interested in going to the U.S. for post-secondary education? Education USA is hosting an event for parents and students to learn more about the process of application and admission to popular U.S. programs and schools. This is a free event hosted May 1st from 6 to 9 at Ashbury College. For more information, check out their website. Are you interested in learning about the Jewish holiday of Passover? Join Colonel Bai's JSU to learn about this holiday on April 12th at lunch in room 131. All are welcome. That's all from us today, CB. Now Thank here's you. your sports desk. What's, What's up, sports, sports fans? fans? I'm Philip. And I'm Bree. And, and this, this is, is your Sports, sports desk. desk. Junior girls volleyball won 3 0 to Lester B. Pearson. They will be playing Samuel Jeanette today in their first playoff game. Good luck. Junior boys volleyball had a close game but fell short, losing 3 2 against Beatrice Delage. Great effort out there. You know, Bree, I've been pretty bored recently. I'm just waiting on the spring sports season to start up. Me too, but there are some fun activities in the community to keep busy. Really? Like what? Why don't we go find out? What's up Cougars, we're here on this beautiful Saturday, downtown on Elegant Street where we're joining the Slowpokes Running Club. Let's go for a run. Done. What's up Cougars? I'm here with Frida's, actually a CV alumni. So Frida, how many times have you actually done this? Uh, only twice so far, but I'm planning on coming back. That's sick. Yeah. And what got you into it? Um, well, my friend told me about it and I like going running alone, but it's super fun to have a really big group of people to do it with. So I decided to come more often and run with some other people. For sure. And would you recommend it to like students or any other people? Oh, 100%. There's like people of all paces who come running here. And it's a really nice loop on the canal. It's only 5K, so it's not too long. So, yeah. For sure. Thank you. No problem. All right, what's up, Cougars? I'm here with Kieran. Kieran, good morning. Good morning, Cougars. How was your run? It was so fun. Got out. Nice and early. The sun is out, so it's a perfect day compared to Thursday and Friday. Totally fair. So could you tell us a little bit about what got you into running? Uh, the new year, January, it really got me inspired. And coming out to these events and seeing all the people that all different walks of life, it's really motivating. Totally fair. And where'd you hear about it? I heard of slow pokes through other running buddies. Okay. So just in the community. Right on. And how long have you been doing it? This would be just around three months, I think, I've been coming to Slowpokes. It started in December and I didn't quite make it, but totally fair. glad I'm here. Good for you. <laughs> and would you recommend it to anyone? I'd recommend it to everyone, no matter your age. The, av the median age is like 30, but if you come here with your friends, it's so much fun. Well, folks, you heard it here first. Thank you, Kieran. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Surprisingly enough, for a 9 a.m. Saturday morning run, it was a blast and I recommend all Cougars to check it out. It was really good tempo. Everyone here is super nice, super friendly, and it's called Slowpokes. Once again, you can find them on Instagram. Make sure to go check it out. Signing back to the desk. Anyways, we got the opportunity to talk to a very talented Colonel by alumni, Rene Conga, to see what he's been up to these past years. Roll the tape. So, uh, hello everyone, my name is Rene Conga. I play defensive line for Rutgers University down in New Jersey. Um, I've been attending Rutgers University for, for the past four years and yeah, just been playing football ever since. So I actually started playing football when I was about 13. I played for the North Gloucester Giants. And uh, yeah, I played for a couple of years. I then played for the Cumberland Panthers. 
and then I started playing in high school. I want to say I played my grade 10 year. Yeah, I started grade 10 with Mr. Bear and all those guys. And we played for a few years. And I want to say my grade 12 year, I started training with Gridiron, which is like a football training academy. So I trained with them, went to a couple camps, went to the U.S. a couple times. And then from there is where I gained my first couple of scholarships. And Rutgers was actually my first ever scholarship, which is part of the reason why I came here, because I felt like they believed in me early on. And so, yeah, that was pretty much my whole uh, route to where I am today. I'd say probably just playing the game in the big stadiums. Like, growing up, you always see, like, you know, the, I mean, I guess the now NFL stars when they were in college, you know, playing the big stage in front of the teams like big name teams such as like Ohio State, Michigan. I think just that competitive nature of those games is what makes it more fun. At the end of the day, I'm a competitor and then, yeah, so I just love playing that environment. Some of those stadiums can actually hold up to like 100,000 people, so it gets incredibly loud, you know, so, yeah. And I actually have two more years of eligibility, so uh, I have two more years to play college football if I wanted to, but ideally, I would just spend the next year, you know, just making a name for myself and then play for the NFL draft. And if that doesn't work out, um, use the second year that I have to, I guess, try to do it again. And yeah, and if that doesn't work out, I'm actually studying finance. So hopefully if I fall back on that degree, I find a use for it. So, yeah. Be sure to always check the ticker below to never miss upcoming and past games. Well, well that's, that's all from us today, CB. This, this is your Sports Desk signing off. off.